Howdy all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd, taking a break from dunking on Disney Star Wars, because I gotta remember, the world does not revolve around Disney Star Wars as much as I hate it. There are other battlefronts in the pop culture war, and probably the most important one coming up is the battle for the Lord of the Rings, because this fall, the Rings of Power are coming, and <laughs> Tolkien fans... They are a, a, how do I put this? Uh, they're a passionate bunch. They're a passionate bunch. Now, me, as I've said over and over again, I am a, I'm a casual Lord of the Rings fan. Not as hardcore as some, or many. But I do respect it because I respect Tolkien as the grandfather, the foundation of all fantasy. We all build upon what he created first. Point is, the uh, Rings of Power... They're trying to obfuscate the disaster that a lot of people with a lot of inside knowledge have told us is coming. Now, I'm not privy to any of that. I can only go with what I see in front of me. And at least yesterday, what I can comment on are these covers depicting the characters in Rings of Power. <laughs> We're not going to spend too long on this because what can we do? They're just pictures, but we do have to just look at them. and and, and they look terrible. These are bad. Let's go right down. So here's War Galadriel in her very unimpressive gray armor holding the dagger that she's going to use to climb the mountain with. We've already heard people rip that little bit apart. Let's take a look here for a second. So there she is. There's War Galadriel. Uh, again, that armor, very unimpressive. Oh, look, she's got a little orc blood on it. She's been fighting because this, is, this isn't, this isn't, Two, three thousand year old Galadriel at this point who could flick them away. Doesn't need to melee these guys, as far as I know. Look at that sword. Look at the grip on that sword. That's a little big for her. What did you say? I mean, elves are they they got they got better than human abilities in the world of Tolkien and Middle Earth, but they're not mega strength. And that that's a that's a sword for somebody twice her size by the look of that uh that grip. I don't know. So I'm not impressed. Not impressed by War Galadriel. Moving on. <laughs> look at these. Look at them. The Harfoots who shouldn't even exist. They shouldn't exist. It's been covered repeatedly. These are fabricated halflings, fabricated hobbits. Oh my god. Look at what are they wearing? What is this? I'm sorry, we, we know Black Hobbit don't exist. I'm sorry, Black Hobbit don't exist. Don't exist. We've seen the evidence. They'll try to twist Tolkien's words while calling him a racist. And <laughs> the funny part, they will twist his words to, to to create diversity and inclusion while calling him a racist at the same time. That's that's who we're dealing with here. But look, at, I, I'm sorry. You all look stupid. Why do you have leaves in your hair? And... The hobbits shouldn't be in this story anyway. They, they're not there in Tolkien's in Tolkien's lore at this time. And here we go. We got Beardless Dwarf and other dwarf who are holding hands in front of a what? A golden Thrones? I don't know. This looks so lame. It just looks lame. When you look at all of this, just to, just when you look at these, do you feel the Tolkien? Do you feel the Lord of the Rings? Do you feel this very detailed world that this man created with painstaking accuracy that, so that we knew every little twist and turn of how it all worked? Do you feel Lord of the Rings when you look at these images? I sure as hell don't. This thing is going to probably be a mega disaster. And it is important to focus on it because this is the line in the sand. Unfortunately, we have gotten this far in the pop culture world that we're fighting. But this is it. This is the bridge too far for the woke SJW identitarian virtue signaling intersectional feminist crowd. The bridge too far. They are going to try and conquer the Lord of the Rings. But the Tolkien fans, one of the oldest fan bases in existence, maybe the oldest fan base in existence, because they predate even Doctor Who. This is 
this is a battle that Amazon should not have picked, that the shills shouldn't be picking, that the stands shouldn't be picking. They are strong. They are mighty. And they are going to roll over you when you put this out. Because they know their shit. Tolkien fans know their shit. Just like I know my shit for Star Wars. They're gonna, they are going to be on the front line and me and others who are the casuals, we're going to back them up and we're going to highlight why they should not be ignored when they criticize this horrible show. Now, I will cover this show. It's, it's, it's low-hanging fruit. Of course I'm going to cover this show. It might not be as good as, say, Gary from Nerd Erotic or other big, big Tolkien fan channels. It might not be in-depth, but I can at least cover and point out where the storytelling is bad, where the acting is bad, the dialogue is bad, and all that good stuff. And then casually related to Peter Jackson's trilogy and how it doesn't measure up. I'll leave the hardcore stuff to Gary and the others. But this show is going to be bad. If these images are any indication, it just shows you those in charge did not take it seriously. It looks goofy. It looks sad. It looks like poor versions of cosplay, not good cosplay. Cosplayers are actually passionate individuals who take the time to make it accurate. This looks bad. It's going to probably be very bad. And I can't wait because it will be the turning of the tide. We will push them back, and we will we will keep them out of Lord of the Rings. And I predict we're gonna we're gonna take back our franchises one by one because they can't win. Because we are the fans, we are the lifeblood of everything, and we have the power because we pay their salaries with our money. We're gonna win this, guys. We just gotta stay strong, keep fighting. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about fifis. Hit the notification button, share my videos. If you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave comments. Even if you disagree with me, that's just fine, because normal people can have disagreements and still get along, because we're not stands and SJWs who are, every single one of them, cowards behind keyboards. Don't care what they think. We'll never care what they think. But I will mess with them from time to time because it's fun and they're stupid. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia-old threat to the world of Rosetta. Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zabor Tal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long-forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.